Product research is one of the most important thing when it comes to your Amazon FBA business. Helium 10 is one of the best product research tools out there and I'll take you through a complete tutorial on how to do your product research with Helium 10. What is up guys, my name is Orin and welcome back to my channel. If you're excited about this video, be sure to give this a big thumbs up right now. If you want to learn more about online businesses and all things entrepreneurship, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So for the beginners, Helium 10 is one of the most powerful tools that you can use to discover products and to discover keywords. So these two things, product research and keywords, these two combined together will help us to find a viable product for Amazon. But this is mainly a tutorial for for beginners to understand how Helium 10 works, what are the tools that they can play with and they can use at a beginner stage, but this is not a product research tutorial. Please excuse my scratchy voice. I was not well last week. All right, let's jump into it. These are the packages that are available. There is diamond, there is platinum, and there is also the starter. And then these are the prices for getting billed annually. And there's also an option for you to get built monthly and the prices are a little bit different i have some discount codes in my description box below feel free to use them if you've already signed up or using my codes already then you can skip this part if you want to use the code then you'll not be able to insert it here for that you'll have to go all the way up to the pricing tab so on the pricing tab you can simply come here and then on the left side you'll find the coupon codes box and you simply insert your code here after you've selected your package once that's done then you'll be directed to the account information page here is where you'll create your account put in all the details and everything and then your card details and then once that's done you will get this message which says congratulations on joining helium 10 and then you can simply click here to log in so once you log in they'll ask you a bunch of questions so here they're asking how would you describe yourself as an amazon seller so just pick whichever is appropriate for you if you're very new you can simply go with i'm not selling on amazon yet that's perfectly fine once this step is done this will bring you to the dashboard and then down here are some of the important tools that you be using like black box magnet then there is cerebro that's very famous trendstar and these other tools but we'll cover some of them so first things first we'll be downloading the chrome extension you will have an email from them from which you can grab the link or you can just google it by typing helium 10 forward slash extension so on this page here you'll find add to chrome and all you do is just click on that and it will appear up here in the extensions in case it doesn't all you have to do is click the puzzle sign and then just make this blue in helium 10 and then it will appear all right once that's done from the dashboard the first thing we're gonna do is go to tools and go to black box so black box is basically where you will be discovering your products and your keywords so usually what happens is that generally customers on amazon real customers on amazon is always looking for products through keywords so with black box we will be able to discover these products and keywords that the customers are using to find products so this is the product section and you can find a lot of good products using these filters but what i like to do is uh, use the keywords section so basically here we are looking for keywords that people are using during their searches so here we have the search volume so for search volume we will do a thousand uh, you can do more than that also you can do ten thousand but then the competition will be a uh, very very high and so we will not be able to find the kind of products that we are trying to find so that would essentially mean like a thousand searches per month so for this example the monthly revenue we will do five thousand and then for the price uh, we will do 25 dollars to around 40 or uh, 45 or 50 dollars we want a good profit margin and at the same time we don't want the product to be too expensive for us to source it so something around this range would be good for the review count we will do a maximum of 400 to 500 because if we do any more than that then that will be very very competitive we could do a thousand or fifteen hundred but then 
that's going to be very high competition the goal is to find products that are still up and coming a lot of players are not there yet and there are not many reviews the competition is very low and so we can just go in and rank really well and sell these products for the review rating you could leave it blank or if you want to put it then we can do four star reviews and then for the word count we will go for two words because one word is generally too broad for searches for example you want to buy a certain kind of lamp and if you just write lamp there will be too many things coming up on the search so people usually they specifically know what they want so for example if you're looking for a floor lamp so you will write floor lamp instead of just lamp so at least two there are a lot of other advanced search options here but for now this is good enough and we'll just do a search so now these are our search results we have grunge pants okay it, this is an interesting clothing product i've never even heard of anything like that i'm not sure what it is but this is the search volume and then this is the price monthly sales monthly revenue bsr reviews uh, they have 229 reviews and you can always open up your amazon from here and then so we will just go and do that and we will just check some more products but clothing is not something that i am wanting to sell or i recommend for new sellers uh, so we'll just open this just to check what it is okay so this looks like some kind of a goth cargo pant but uh, generally like a cargo pant but we will go and check for other options okay so we have more clothing options like blazers hoodies good patch it's in health and household and then electric slippers see these are kind of products that i would never even know that existed and then red extensions parachute pants okay let's look for something that might actually be something that we are looking for to sell trippy rug what is this i've never heard of anything like that we can open and check okay so this is kind of like just rugs with these all different kinds of cool patterns we'll check for some more what is this string shooter okay this looks good with all the numbers we will take a look at this one so we'll open this up in amazon and so these are not the products see this is something else the lasso but this is basically the product so this is kind of a toy which uh, you can make a spider web from your wrist or something like that okay this looks like a good product so now what we will do is we will open up our x-ray and so here from your extension you just pull down the x-ray and then go for product research so the x-ray is an amazing tool you can pull out all the data of all the competing sellers whoever is selling this product with all the numbers okay so here we have all the details we have the total revenue average revenue average price average bsr and then um average reviews and everything and also the reviews as well now if you go into the product you can see the price they're selling at and then the total sales and everything else and then if you just click on the product like that you'll be able to see how many reviews they have and that was 34 and so you'll be able to compare all the prices so what i recommend is that when you find a product that you see potential you make an excel sheet you want to make sure that you put down all of these data in your excel sheet from each of the seller when you do this then later you can compare all the prices and reviews and revenues but sometimes it can be confusing because they are selling this for 7.9 and then most of the other sellers are selling them for 24 or 19 so you have to understand that that is not the product that we are looking for that is kind of like an arrow and this one is kind of like a spider web that comes out of the hand now if we want to source this product then we can simply click here on find suppliers on alibaba and that will pull up all the suppliers who have this product so we can take a look here and this supplier has this same product and they're selling for 26.94 and then there is another one in black and then here's another one for 21 dollars in black but these seem a little bit overpriced to me i'm not sure if 
all the sellers are showing up here and in this case what we simply need to do is just open up alibaba and do a proper search with all these same words and keywords you can come right down and click here on view more on alibaba and that will just open up your alibaba so here we are on alibaba and then we have all these different options most of them look to me like have a similar price not sure why it's expensive is it because it's a new product or is it too much high in demand here we have one for 15 uh, 49 so you have to keep looking you have to go pages on pages to find and then here we have another one for 19 so um, you get an idea of how much th this might cost but we always want to negotiate a lot when we are talking to our chinese suppliers and then here another one i found for 3.45 so you really have to look and dig a lot so now we will calculate everything with our profitability calculator we are back on amazon again and on this listing of this product and we will pull our x-ray down and we will go to profitability calculator so once you click that this pulls up all the numbers so here is showing the seller is selling it for 52 and then the unit price was 10 and then apart from that you have the dimensions weight outbound shipping weight they are pretty accurate most of the time and then you have your fba fees you have uh, referral fees everything but um, i think unit uh, manufacturing cost we could uh, put maybe 12 or something like that you have the storage fees you have all these numbers that you can have a look at and you know um, have an estimation of what it might be and then you have the net the margin and also the roi per unit here it's 54.41 uh, margin so anywhere between 30 to 50 percent margin is good and so this looks like this could be a good product so this calculator gives us a pretty good estimation of all the numbers it's most of the time pretty close so i definitely recommend using this one getting the right keywords is everything when it comes to amazon like for example if anyone is searching just with spider-man on amazon there's going to be a bunch of different things coming up there's a table there is socks uh, there are so many other things for this uh, shooter or the launcher that we just looked at if we do spider-man toys then there are more chances of that coming up but you know there are much better keywords for that and that is what helium 10 will do for us to find those keywords so now with spider-man toys these are the things that are coming up we have watches again and all these lamps and everything else but we still don't see that web shooter kind of thing so another thing that i like to do is we will open one of the listings and then what we will do is we'll go straight down and grab the asin so you'll find your asin right here so the next we will go to tools and then we will go to cerebro so all we do here is we go to cerebro and then we paste our asin and do a search for keywords so these are all the keywords that has come up in the last 30 days there were total number of 477 keywords 87 sponsored keywords okay and then organic was 169 and then amazon recommended was 320 and so here are all these different keywords so these are some keywords that i would normally not even think of putting so the idea is to grab all of these and put them in your listing on the listing and also inside your details and description and bullet points so that when the customers are searching we will be showing up in their searches you can also find out the iq score the search volume and then you know search volume trend and all these different things but you can get a lot of keywords from here like normally i would not think of putting these myself like hero toy and uh, you know real life spider and all these bunch of things and then one more thing i want to show is that you grab one of these keywords you go to tools and then uh, you go to magnet usually everyone uses magnet and so you paste uh, the keyword here and then you get more keywords from that so this is where you'll get a ton of different other ideas of keywords and phrases that you can put like for example four year old boy gifts and then birthday gifts for five year and uh, things like that so i definitely recommend doing this as well and then it also has all the iq score search volume and everything else 
so this was a very basic short beginner tutorial and some of the most common tools that you can get started with i absolutely recommend helium 10 this is going to save so much of your time from doing manual research i have a code below in the description if you want to use that but i absolutely recommend if this video was helpful or added any value please give us a big thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already let me know in comments below if you have any questions I'll try my best to answer most of them and I'll see you in the next one.